Okay, pretty straightforward idea here. This won't take long. We're looking at projections of an image onto the X or Y axis using matrix transformation. So a mouthful, but very, very simple, very simple idea here. So let's jump into our um, GeoGebra matrix transformation thing. Now I've set up the figure a little bit differently here. I want you to imagine that it's like, this is like a cartoon maybe, and then we've drawn this picture here and the sun is directly overhead. And so each of these images is, um, the sun might be casting a shadow directly onto the X axis. Now, what we can do as a function transformation is project each of those um, points, in fact, project the entire um, object onto the X axis. Now, again, think about point uh, zero 01 and think about how to project point zero 01 onto the X axis, how to drag it down onto the X axis. We take point zero 01 and just turn it into point zero 00. And what happens? All of our points come down, 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 and get projected onto our x-axis. Now we have point I and point J both sitting on top of each other. Uh, we have point K directly underneath, and we have point L directly underneath as well. What have we done? We've projected this object onto the x-axis. Now, of course, it's not difficult to imagine what I'm going to say next. Why don't we take the object and project it onto the y-axis? Again, think about what you would need to do to this little orange dot, 0, 1, to make that happen. You would need to move it from, oh, sorry, from 1, 0. You would need to move it to 0, 0. And we can do that by taking 1, 0 and moving it over to 0, 0. And now we've projected all of those points. We, can, we have the image of I, the image of L, the image of J, and the image of K directly across, like a light is shining directly across here and projecting them onto the y-axis. So we run through each of those in turn really quickly. Um, the transformation XY to X0 projects the point XY onto the x-axis. Uh, this is what we can do here for our matrix transformation. We're just taking point 0, 1 and making it 0, 0. So this point projects to here, this point projects to here, this point projects to here, and that point projects to there. And of course, we can go the other way. The transformation x, y, 0, y projects the point x, y onto the y axis. Uh, we use this matrix to do it. Over to here, this one goes to there, that one goes to there, and that one goes to there. Just for the sake of completeness, let's do an example. Uh, find the image of the point 3, 4 if it is projected on the Y axis. So I'll just really quickly just talk about what it kind of looks like. There's an, uh, the image of the point 3, 4. So 3, 4 is like right there if I were to draw it on that. And we're projecting it onto the Y axis. So I know what the answer is going to be. It's going to be 0, 4. But how can we sort of show that using our matrix transformation? We can say that the image is equal to uh, the linear transformation times uh, the original object. So now we have uh, this new matrix. Now we're going to project on the y-axis. That means that we're going to shift that uh, coordinate 1, 0 to 0, 0. And we're multiplying by the point three, four. All right, so a little bit of matrix multiplication here. We'll do zero times three, zero times four, we're gonna get zero, and zero times three plus one times four, we're going to get four. And exactly as predicted, the image is zero, four.